For today's tip, we'll be focusing on getting the most out of Apple's Reminders app. Apple designed Reminders to be easy to approach, but few know just how powerful Reminders can be. With its ability to leverage GPS, it can deliver location-based reminders, and when used specifically with Siri, context-based reminders. When combined, these features allow your Apple gear to sweat the small stuff while you get things done. Let's start by going over the basics of setting a reminder. To create a reminder, open the Reminders app. Upon launch, you're presented with a single Reminders list. Now, you can create different Reminder lists to store various categories of Reminders, but for today, we're going to focus solely on creating individual Reminders. Alright, so we're in the app. What now? You'll notice a plus button off to the left. When tapped, you get a flashing cursor. At this point, you'll need to type what you want to be reminded about. I'll add, pay my phone bill. Okay, so if I don't specify the date and time, this reminder just sits in this list and doesn't alert me to pay my phone bill at all. To do that, I'll have to tap the circular information button on the right hand side of the reminder. To bring it up, simply tap inside the reminder. After tapping it, I'm presented with a screen asking if I'd like to be reminded on a date or a location. Let's take a look at how the date function works first. When I toggle that switch on, I can choose a day and time that I want to be reminded. In this case, I'll say I want to be reminded tomorrow at 12 p.m. Go ahead and tap it again to close it up. Additionally, right below, I can tap to have this reminder repeat on any particular cadence I like. Now, if I hit done, that reminder is going to remind me tomorrow at 12 p.m. Simple, right? Also, when set, reminders will alert me across all of my iCloud connected devices on the day and time that I chose. Now let's go back and take a look at the location-based reminders. I'm going to tap inside my reminder again, tap the I button, and I'm going to toggle off Remind Me on a Day. Directly below the date time settings is where things get more interesting and powerful. How many times have you driven past the grocery store only to realize when you arrive at home that you needed to pick something up? It's really frustrating. With location-aware reminders, you can make that a thing of the past. When you toggle on Remind Me at a Location, and then tap where it says Location right below that, you can start typing the address of where you'd like to be reminded. This can be anywhere you like. Once you choose the location, an option appears below to decide if you'd like to be reminded when you arrive at your destination or when you leave. For example, if you want to talk to your coworker about an important meeting when you get to work, you would want to choose to be reminded when I arrive. But if you want to be reminded to call your spouse when you leave work, you would want to choose when I leave. It all depends on the location context of the reminder. These are really powerful features that you can only benefit from if you internalize them and make them a part of your daily workflow. So let's back out of that, hit done, and we're all set. Manually entering reminders is all well and good, and Apple makes it pretty frictionless, but the real power and efficiency comes when you leverage Siri to set reminders for you. Let's use the example earlier about paying my phone bill. I'll activate Siri and make the request, adding the day and time I'd like to be reminded. But first, let me go ahead and delete this particular reminder. All right, here we go. Remind me to pay my phone bill today at 5 p.m. Okay, I'll remind you. Really easy, right? And you can do that for anything you need to be reminded about. But what about the location-based reminders we just discussed? Let's give that a try. Remind me to pay my phone bill when I get home. Okay, I'll remind you when you arrive at home. Pretty cool. I think you can imagine all the different ways this can be applied. One important note, for Siri to be able to remind you based on location, she has to reference your address book. 
so it's important you have your home and work address associated with your contact card. If you want to take this further and be reminded when arriving or leaving your local grocery store, you would need to create an entry in your address book for that specific store. For example, I've added my local grocery store's address and labeled it Kroger LFP for the part of town it's in. If I had just labeled it Kroger, Siri would become confused at my request, as there are well over 50 Kroger's in the Atlanta area. So remember, for this feature to work correctly, you have to make sure to add that store's specific address to your address book, and then label the entry uniquely. And of course, remember how you labeled it when asking Siri to remind you. Here's a use case using the Kroger info I just mentioned. Remind me to pick up some hot dogs when I get to Kroger LFP. Okay, I'll remind you when you arrive at the location. Now, the next time I drive past that Kroger, a reminder will go off telling me to pick up some hot dogs, which is exactly when I would want that reminder to go off. Speaking of location-based reminders, if your phone has been set up to connect to your car's Bluetooth, Siri can remind you of things when you get in or out of your car. So, for example, I could say something like, Remind me to call work when I get in the car. Here's the reminder for the next time you get in the car. This couldn't be cooler. I mean, this is just really, really cool stuff. And I think you can imagine all the different ways you can kind of put this together. As you may recall, I mentioned earlier that Reminders has the ability to provide context-aware reminders. But what does that mean? Have you ever been looking at a website and thought you'd like to be reminded of that site in a day or two? Or maybe you were reading an important email from your boss and wanted to be reminded of it when you got to work. Well, reminders can be made aware of what you're looking at on your screen, but only when you invoke Siri for that reminder. Let's take a look. I'm going to use Siri to bring up the Wikipedia page for Steve Jobs. Open the Wikipedia page for Steve Jobs. Here's what I found. All right, maybe I don't have the time to read this right now, but I will in a couple of days. I'm going to ask Siri to do just that. Remind me about this in two days. Okay, I'll remind you. Note, Siri has attached a link to Safari in the reminder. When this reminder goes off in two days, I can tap the embedded Safari icon and it will take me directly to that web page. So, so cool. I mean, this is just... <laughs> Sorry if I sound excited, but this is just really neat stuff to me. Let's do another. This time an email, but coupled with a location-based reminder. So I'm going to hop over to my email. And here's a two-factor authentication email from Apple, but we'll use this as an example. Remind me about this when I get to work. Okay, I'll remind you when you arrive at work. So just really, really cool stuff. Also, this bear is noting... Everything you learned here can be applied to the Reminders app on the iPad as well as the Mac, even the context-based reminders. And, thanks to iCloud syncing, you only need to create these reminders once, on one device, and they seamlessly sync to all your other devices. Okay, well that brings us to the end of our screencast. We hope you enjoyed it, and let us know what you think in the comments.